Hello and welcome dear learners, students and professionals to the video on soft gelatin capsule formulation. The video basically will discuss about the composition and composition of the fill material. In part 1 video, the discussion on capsule shell composition was done in the detail and now in this video the capsule fill composition will be discussed so after watching this video you will be able to clearly understand about the composition of the fill material of the soft gelatin capsules so mainly the composition is divided into two parts first is capsule shell composition and second is the capsule fill composition shell composition involves gelatin mainly the type b gelatin is used for soft gelatin capsules then plasticizers like glycerol sorbitol and sorbitol sorbitan solution and also glycerin and sorbitol are also used in combinations then water and other materials like opacifier mainly titanium dioxide is used as opacifier colors flavors and preservatives sometimes so this is about the shell composition which makes the gelatin shell and which holds the fill composition then coming to the fill composition mainly fill composition involves the use of hydrophilic or lipophilic material and in hydrophilic and lipophilic material there may be suspension or solution so when there is a solution it is called as liquid filled capsules or if it is suspension or paste it is called as suspension filled or paste filled sometimes in the soft gelatin capsules paste is also filled like ointments in the form of paste or thick suspension and sometimes a hard fat like substance is filled into the soft gelatin capsules many times along with the oily materials or hydrophilic hydro hydro uh, philic material lipophilic materials surfactants are also used and co-solvents are also used so in total we can fill liquids suspension semi solid or paste into the soft gel formulation mainly the capsule fill composition is divided into two subtypes that is hydrophilic fill material and lipophilic fill material so hydrophilic fill material is involving the hydrophilic materials like polyethylene glycol ethyl alcohol and little quantity of water may be used and lipophilic fill materials involves the use of oils and lipids so whenever selecting the fill composition Fill composition is also called as base fill material or carrier oils or vehicles and it is a combination of many of the materials which may be hydrophilic in nature or lipophilic in nature. So while selecting the composition it should pass some criteria or some points to be considered like it should be compatible with the shell and the drug compatibility is very very important then it should be easy to encapsulate if the material is a very volatile or the composition is volatile or temperature sensitive material is there then it will not be easy to encapsulate if material is very very hydrophilic then it will it will not be easy to encapsulate into the soft gelatin capsule so it should be easy to encapsulate it should have solubilizing capacity for the drug dose one of the most important 
advantage of soft gelatin capsule is the insoluble APIs can be solubilized or suspended and this can be administered in soft gelatin formulation. So when you are selecting a base or fill composition and if you are trying to get the solubilizing effect then the fill material should have solubilizing capacity. If you are suspending the material then it should have suspending capacity. Then acceptable for oral use not to be toxic in the requirement am required amount. It is like IIG or inactive ingredient limit. So acceptable amount should be there or the material should be acceptable for the oral route or oral use and it should not be toxic in the amount used or the required amount. If the material is having very solubilizing capacity but it is toxic then it cannot be used or should not be used or its amount should be decreased or the amount should be within the acceptable range for the oral route. Then should be miscible and prevent drug precipitation in vitro and in vivo. Whatever the fill composition is selected, that composition should be miscible into the dissolution media when we are talking in in vitro testing and in the GI contents if we talk in vivo. And the fill composition also should prevent drug precipitation or drug recrystallization so that the drug will be maintained in the solubilized form and the best therapeutic outcome of the soft gelatin capsule can be taken. The fill composition is divided into hydrophilic fill and lipophilic fill. So in upcoming slides we will see the exact composition. Hydrophilic materials these are the water loving material, materials and these materials involves the use of polyethylene glycols. Mainly the lower molecular weight PEGs are used. PEG 200, PEG 400, PEG 600. These are utilized. Polyethylene glycol are uh, good solvents and many of the soft gelatin capsule contain polyethylene glycols as the hydrophilic fill material. But the main disadvantage of these hydrophilic materials is migration to the capsule shell or migration of the uh, water from fill to the shell or shell to the fill. So these hydrophilic materials are used very cautiously. Then propylene glycol is there which is also a very good solvent. Diethylene glycol monoethyl ether that is also known as transcutal as a brand name that is a very good solvent. Then sometimes in the hydrophilic fill composition glycerin may be used but it should be used at lower concentration and up to 4% it is used. Why? Because it itself acts as a plasticizer. Glycerin is a component of the capsule shell. So some migration may happen or the excess quantity of glycerin into the fill material may hamper the capsule shell elasticity, plasticity or the properties. That's why glycerin if used should be used as a low quantity or at a low level. Then is ethyl alcohol. It can be used up to 10% and it is a volatile solvent. So generally in uh, soft gelatin capsules, PEG based system is there. It is properly known as PEG based system which use the polyethylene glycol and ethyl alcohol. See some of these material also contain water. 
and if water is required to be used as a solvent then more quantity should be avoided and in the literature it is given that water up to 10% can be used and higher quantity should be restricted as itself act as a plasticizer and it can migrate to the shale then water quantity if used beyond certain level may cause recrystallization of the api or precipitation of the api into the capsules so it should be used very cautiously and it may also migrate to the shale also water quantities and materials like ethyl alcohol pgs this will hamper the drying process of the soft gelatin capsule so when you are choosing the hydrophilic fill material and composition we should take these points into the consideration then coming to the lipophilic material so lipophilic materials are generally lipids or oils many of the long chain glycerides long chain uh, or media uh, long chain and medium chain triglycerides are used but out of this mct that is medium chain triglycerides are used very much in the soft gelatin capsules and these are abundantly used in the soft gelatin capsules if you consider the oils the oils are soybean oil corn oil cod liver oil sesam oil castor oil fractionated coconut oil then mct that is medium chain triglycerides the example is migliol soybean oil glyceryl diastyrate polyglyceryl 3 oleate is there that is gel oil sc polyoxyl 40 hydrogenated castor oil that is a known as brand name of polyfor rs40 then pg40 hydrogenated castor oil that is cremo4 rs40 cremo4 el is also there as a another material caprilo capril polyoxyl glycerides polyoxyl glycerides these are commonly known as labras glyceryl monoleate it is commonly known as mycin cc this mycin cc is the brand name i have mentioned brand name for your easy understanding and for remembering the lipophilic materials then glyceryl caprylate caprate is also there medium chain triglycerides like labafrac lipophile wl1349 so these are various lipophilic materials used into the fill composition and if we are using a lipophilic material then some advantages are there like these capsules get dried easily or there is a very less chance of lengthy drying process and also there is less chance of moisture migration or material migration from shell to fill material or from fill material to shell and from environment to shell and shell to environment so these are having some advantages so other materials are also there which are used in the fill composition this might be with the hydrophilic material or lipophilic material like thickeners and solubilizers are used why to support the fill system like pvp is there which can be used up to 10% and it is used to inhibit the recrystallization of the api and increase the solubility capacity of the fill material this wax is also there which can be used as suspending agent hard fat is also there then antioxidants bha bht and alpha tocopherol these are very common antioxidant in the pharmaceutical field then surfactants are there surfactant is lecithin and it is widely used in the soft gel formulations then polysorbate 80 the brand name is twin 80 sometimes acid and bases are also used like citric acid potassium hydroxide 
and lactic acid in some of the soft gel formulations then preservatives are there sodium methyl paraben sodium propyl paraben and some others are there which are used as the preservatives then imprinting ink some of the capsules are imprinted and that imprinting ink composition should also be taken into consideration the imprinting ink involves the use of propylene glycol shellac sometimes polyvinyl acetate salate as a base iron oxide as colors isopropyl alcohol as a base or volatile solvent yn butyl alcohol and ammonium hydroxide so this imprinting ink composition is given here so in this video we have studied the hill material composition thanks for watching this video please do like share and subscribe thank you